Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations. And I have the uh, Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge for August video. I am doing a collaboration year-long make-along with Christy Cook from Tea Doddles. And this is a way to get rid of some of your scraps and have fun together and do monthly themes and things like that. So it's my month for August and uh, grab grab a cup. Today I have iced tea. This one is pomegranate blueberry and I made it in the coffee maker and then let it sit for a while and cool off and then hit it with a little bit of sugar and some ice ice cubes and it's not bad I mean I don't normally make my tea that way but I figured it was hot and <laughs> let's try it so let's see if we can get down to what we're here for because I have lots of videos to do today I've been doing all the August um, new stuff and all the July ending stuff and I've been just very busy so let's see La last week I asked for some help in picking this month's theme and y'all had great ideas I loved all of them I kind of mixed them up a little bit and went with a few you'll see when I announce it how close you were to being what I chose but I um, just randomly chose a winner on that yarn and you know who you you are and uh, so that's how you got to win that prize this this uh, month's theme I'm going to tell you is do dog days of summer so dogs and cats and just about anything animals that you can think of are basically going to be in the the way that I'm looking at that theme. So, and I use animals in my stuff all the time. So break out your one skeins that you don't know what you want to do with and make something for your puppy or make something for your cat. Um post them on our page I will link that page down it's special just a Facebook group for your makes in the happy scrappy yarn challenge and um, you know I made a couple things so I grabbed of course my little toppers DMC the ones that come with the animal on top and um, this one happens to be the pink one. It has a kitty cat. These are 100% acrylic. I got them from Lion Brand's website. You can buy them in Michael's too, but they're all different. Some are four ply, some are three medium, some are, uh, they're all different. So I um, grabbed this one and I made a kitty cat uh, lovey with it. I did it with uh, just a, a pattern that you could just make a square, a granny square. So uh, I hook and I made the square. And then you go ahead and you use the, um, the plastic, well it's like a, it's like a real soft, squishy and um, it helps give the head some stability and then you tie it on with this so that when you want to wash your lovey you can just take it off and wash the lovey regular um, I have a new grandbaby coming so I made it for her because they are into their kitty they have a kitty and they like they like their kitty so I thought I'd make one with a kitty on it but I also add a, a button attachment and I add a sucky or whatever nuki <laughs> whatever these stupid things are that I never used but I add that and you can unbutton it and take it off and wash it it helps keep it off the floor this one has a cover on it so 
that when I give it to her, she knows it's brand new. A lot of times I leave the, that off when I give it as a gift, but it's family, so. But anyway, I, I use a, a wooden button on there and just button it on the one side. And on that other side, I take a teething ring and crochet the teething ring right into the last row. And then, so it, it it's a lovey, it's a toy, it's a keeper, and it's a teething ring all in one. And you can even use it to wash, wipe off, you know what, and throw it in the washer because it, it's 100% acrylic and it's washable. So that's my one make. And then I brought out a couple of dog sweaters that I have made. Now this one was made from the tutorial on Bag O'Day. She makes uh, a cat sweater for her cat and you, I will link that pattern below. This is made in Premier Everyday and I made this to fit my my dachshund. So, and I only made it to fit her so I could sell it as that size and I would have a body to measure it on. But it was made for the size of, of uh, Crystal's cat. But anyway, I made it out of Premier Everyday, which is 100% acrylic, and this colorway is Carnival. And so here is this dog sweater. It has a beautiful uh, collar ribbing. It has the two feet holes. And then it has uh, another ribbing on the back. Now the carnival is pretty colorful and stripy. But it came out really nice. It's really soft. It's, it's washable. And um, I like the pattern a lot. I really do. And it fits my dog. <laughs> this has actually never been worn by her and is in my Etsy shop, if anybody cares. I will link that pattern below. And then I did another sweater. This also fits her. She's a miniature dachshund. So this one was made on another tutorial and I I'm sure I can find it I will try and link that below um, but this one was made in Bernat Super Value 100% acrylic big stripes and it's a cake yarn it's a four medium and the color is celestial so it's a stripe this one has a collar that you turn down so it's a heavy ribbing that you turn down. It's a winter sweater. And both of these didn't even use a whole skein on this one. And, and uh, or a whole cake, I mean, on this one. I didn't even use a whole cake. So that's why I'm calling these the scrappies. Because you can do them in any colors you want. You could do the neck the ribbing in one color and then the body in another and the feet part in another color and use your scraps up but they're really easy crocheted patterns all of those were crocheted I didn't bring any knitting out today um, okay so the last thing I made for this video last night is I was thinking about bandanas and I brought out some red yarn that had black in it and it reminds me of like a farmer's bandana and I used it to make my dachshund a cowl. It has the ribbing just like Crystal's cowls do and it's a bandana cowl and it fits her perfectly. I'm going to post um, a picture of her wearing it in the happy scrappy yarn challenge page so you can see 
but it came out perfect and it's all sewn together I did seven rows of crystals um, uh, bandana cowl that she does I will link that pattern below I did seven rows of that I did one row of the single and then I did two rows uh, um, no one row of the double two rows of the ribbing and one row of the single again and that's it and you just sew that first row of the singles together so if you want to know how I did this exactly I you know message me I'll tell you I'll write it somewhere but it's perfect you just slide it right over their neck and boom they have a little cow <laughs> so that was fun um, I did it in uh, a sampler a stitch studio sampler so that was black and red okay um, I think I have everything uh, that I made for August challenge done and show you now I'm going to show you what's up for grabs for the winter for August I have a tote bag that I got in a giveaway from somebody that I'm passing on it is a can like a light canvas I have a skein of the Little Toppers DMC. These are 100% acrylic. They come with the animal. This one is a panda bear. You can make a lovey out of it or you can make a hat out of it. They, it has a hat pattern right on the label. You will also get a skein of the Stitch Studio that I used uh, for my um, for my bandana cowl you'll get a skein of that this is a four medium and these were uh, AC Moore studio samples so I don't really know anything other than they are a hundred percent acrylic you'll get one in red and you will get one in the blue and these are like a black marl red maroon and blue Marled. You get one of each of those. I'm going to throw in a handmade set of stitch markers. These stitch markers have little lambs. They're beautiful. They, there's four of them. There's a red, a blue, a purple, and a yellow. And they have little lambs. They were made by Cindy's Homemade Jewels. I'll post her Etsy page below. That is a friend of mine. You'll also get a whole bunch of buttons. I went in my collection and I pulled out some animal buttons. I'm passing them on to you. Some are kitties, some are owls, some are birds, some are penguins and some are cows so I'm not gonna go over how many there are but then I'm gonna throw in a couple patches and a couple other little goodies okay so if you are not a member of our Etsy or our, <laughs> our Etsy <laughs> our Facebook page for happy scrappy yarn challenge then go ahead and ask to be a member and answer the questions we only have two questions and um, we will accept you as a new member and I hope everyone is having a great weekend um, I'm gonna have a couple more videos up today so I'll see you all later thanks bye bye